Hello, this is George Sender, the real, official, one and only, original, the guy from Pittsburgh, except no substitutes or imposters. And this is another addition to my paranormal book collection, and I got this for free. Now, I don't know about the slipcase. Here is the slipcase. Time Life Books, Mysteries of the Unknown. But three of these books without the slipcase is selling for $6 on eBay. And the entire set of the Time Life Mysteries of the Unknown series, I saw one listing for $259. But the important thing, I got this for free. And free is always good. So we have here East and 20,000 Fathoms. Let's see, just, I haven't even looked at these. I just got these. Here's a guy with a cast of an alleged Bigfoot track. I always wonder, does Bigfoot wear shoes or sandals or just bare feet? Here's more Bigfoot tracks. And let's see what else we can see. The Iceman. Uh, Loch Ness. Here's a picture of Nessie. The Kraken, if you watch the Mercury Insurance commercial now, they've got a Kraken attacking a car. The Manticore, now that guy's creepy. The Basilisk and the Hydra. The Griffin. They're pretty cool artwork in here. That's almost worth the price of the book. Here's the, the Komodo Dragon, that they thought wasn't real. Here's a Kraken attacking a ship. So. A giant squid, which would be kind of like a kraken. Anyway, here we have demi humans of a land. So that's that one. And then, of course, the problem with these is where am I going to put them on the bookshelf? Because these are very tall. The UFO phenomenon. Let's see what's in here. There's a picture of Bud Hopkins. Now I know what he looked like. And the famous McMinnville photograph in Oregon. I don't even have to I don't even have to know the caption. Um, the phony Condon report and Professor Condon. Giant Rock UFO Festival, Wine Saucer Festival. Here's a headline from 1966. 87 co-eds saw a flying object near dormitory in Michigan. By the way, I've been watching this weather guy. He is predicting a very harsh weather for Minnesota. There's Philip J. Class, had arguments with him in person. UFO debunker. Uh, Project Blue Book, Betty and Barney Hill. Well, you get the idea. There's that one. And then we have the third book, Mystic Places. And I don't have any of these, so it was cool to get this for free today. All right, Richard Byrd in Antarctica, you know the story of the Nazis in Antarctica and how he sent an expedition down there and lost. Um, Nazca planes, drawings at Nazca. 
Nobody knows what they are and why. Here's the, it looks like the Egyptian cat god. Eric Van Dalton claims this Mexican sarcophagus lid shows an alien visitor. Skeptics say it does not. Here the guy going to Chillicom and they get confronted by a guy who looks more like a, a, a demon than a UFO occupant. Ley line, Stonehenge. The pyramids. Oh yeah. The beautiful triangle and planes going through time warps. There's that one. A counter with the flying Dutchman. The Marie Celeste. Famous lost ship, where the people were lost, the ship was found. Atlantis, Madame Blavatsky. The Trojan horse and the mythical city of Troy that they found out was real after all. And the inner city of Atlantis. So that's, that's the third book in this series. That's pretty cool. I got three very large and very heavy paranormal books for free. All right, this is George Sendon. It's stuck now in the case. I put it back in and it went about halfway and got stuck. So this is what this looks like. And I will enjoy reading this sometime in the next couple of days. This is George Senda, the guy from Pittsburgh, the real, the official, the one and only, original, and only the guy from Pittsburgh, except no substitutes. Pittsburgh, that is. I'm mispronouncing it. Sorry. Have a great day. Stay wet, warm, dry, or cool as the case may be as I drink some ice water. And stay safe out there, and I'll catch you next time. Bye-bye for now.